The University of North Florida is hosting a free event later today that will bring together leaders of different faiths. They're going to discuss a faith solution to the conflict in the Middle East. Now joining me is Tara Trueblood. She is UNF's Interfaith Center. She's director of UNF's Interfaith Center, which is organizing today's discussion. Tara, thank you for joining us this My morning. Pleasure. Thank this you. is fascinating, and it seems almost sometimes to many people like an impossible thing to solve. Exactly. What, what's the? What are you guys going to discuss today? Well, uh, in this time of political gridlock, um, politics is not really a way forward. But when you get together with people uh, who may be a different, have a different faith uh, or value-based um, tradition, uh, when you can talk about the, the core of those traditions, that base, uh, and you can discover that peace is one of the common values that we have, then you can have significant disagree disagreements with people, but you can figure out if our common value is peace, how can we move forward? How can we um, create a, a cooperative way through that. And so we don't have some of the polit political arguments, but we have uh, as a bedrock belief, um, faith. Interfaith. So talk to me about the different faiths you're going to have represented here. Certainly. Um, and we define faith as the, the process of making meaning in our life. And so while you might think of uh, Christians, Jews, and Muslims, and we will have a, a major international leader from each of those groups, we'll have a, a rabbi, an imam, mm -hmm. and a reverend, Christian reverend. Um, the, um, all of those are religious-based value systems. Mm -hmm. We will also have uh, a millennial who is a secular humanist um, who has a different type of value-based system. So all of them um, come from uh, these traditions that value peace. So we can engage religious people and secular people in a way to discover that peace is a common value and then create a way to work forward. So what the important thing to begin with mm -hmm. is to encounter people who are different, get to know their story, get to know who they are, and discover how you have peace as a common denominator. Well, there's always such a strident disagreement in the Middle East, and it seems so Correct. impossible. It has for generations. Exactly. For thousands of years, technically. Um, what do you find that works? What is something you find that has been successful between the various faiths? Well, the, um, the three international folks that we are bringing to UNF today have all been to the Middle East, mm -hmm. have been traveling around together, have figured out what the histories are. So they're very schooled in this. Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, they figured out the histories and the stories that have kept them kind of uh, at war with one another. And they've said, well, when I get to know you as a human being and I get to figure out where you're coming from, what are the stories of your people, I can understand how you can have a certain opinion. But if we truly value peace, then on our relationship we can build a bridge. Why did you guys determine that this would be your subject matter today? How did that come about? Very good question. Um, one of our co-sponsors um, is from the Atlantic Institute, and he just got back from the, mm -hmm. this uh, center in the Middle East and was very uh, excited about bringing that story and asking millennials, how does this issue uh, impact your life here in Jacksonville when this is going on in the Middle East? And the millennials do. It does impact mm -hmm. our lives here. We, we avoid conversations about it, uh, or we get um, uh, engaged in uh, disagreements about it and so we're hoping that our Millennials will help us uh, figure out how to have conversations with religious <laughs> and secular people as well as these international experts. Tara Trueblood, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate you coming in. Thanks Pleasure. again. Thank um, this discussion is scheduled to start at 4 this afternoon in the Ab Adam W. Herbert University Center at UNF's campus. This is part of the Distinguished Voices Lecture Series. All Distinguished Voices lectures are free and open to the public you just need an e-ticket. To get one, you go to unf.edu slash lectures.